Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wing Nut Wednesday. Yes, sir, you are here at Greenhorn Barbecue Beer. My name is Todd. Got a little furry rug rat walking around here, so you're gonna hear him once in a while. All right, guys, so I just got a couple things to talk about today. One being our last video, the uh, lamb, rack of lambs that we did. That lamb came out, they hit at the party that we went to. Everyone loved it so much. Even a couple people that didn't like lamb, they tried it and they liked it. So if you wanna see that video, I'll leave a little link right up here and go back and check it out. All right, so I got a little bit of barbecue news for you today. It actually has to do more with uh, restaurant compliance and how the uh, Fair Labor Standards Act uh, plays out here. Um, this one just happened to be in a barbecue restaurant. So there's a small town in Texas, Renoke. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I'll put a little link down in the description. Um, a Texas employer uh, who happened to be a barbecue joint failed to uh, pay its employees nearly $900,000 in tips and overtime pay, according to the U.S. Department of Labor Wage and uh, Hour Division. So that's a big thing, $900,000. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to name the barbecue joint, but it's in Roanoke, Texas. You guys go ahead and go Google it and check it out yourself. But now for some good news. Uh, as you all know, uh, a friend of ours, James Jackson, owner of Mad Jack's Mountaintop Barbecue, has recently uh, broken ground on a new pavilion up there at 9,000 feet in Cloudcroft, New Mexico. I'll leave a link down to his Facebook page here. You guys go check out pictures of the progress. Now, not only is it a challenge to smoke good quality barbecue at 9,000 feet, and let me tell you, me and Rob and some other friends from work have tasted it and it's it's definitely world-class guys james is from lockhart and he's uh, tutored with the best of them but when you have a line that sometimes takes two or three hours to get through it's a challenge to find where all your loyal customers and fans could get a place to sit to eat so uh he definitely recognized that he needs to expand and the village of cloudcroft uh permitted him i guess to uh expand uh, it's going to be pretty neat. Um, haven't been up there since he broke ground, but I hope to get up there uh, sometime next year, do a little road trip with Sassy because she's never been, and uh, I'll report on it then. But if you guys are ever in the uh, Cloudcroft area of New Mexico or even the area of El Paso, uh, take the side trip, road trip up to the mountains where it's much cooler in the summer and uh, tell James that uh, Greenhorn sent you and go check it out. Also, James has got some really neat, cool stuff now uh, for sale on his page, cutting boards and some coasters and other things, coffee mugs. Uh, go check it out. It's a great place. He's a great host, and his, his staff are top-notch. All right, let's kick off now our weekly giveaway, guys. This week, I want to thank Super Clean, the, the Super Clean team, for sending us some great stuff. Of course, the original aerosol degreaser is awesome stuff. It cleans the oven so good. And also the grills, if you want to use it on your grills, it cuts through the grease. Also, uh, they sent me some all wheel cleaner. Uh, this is cool stuff too, guys. So yeah, I've actually even tried it on grill grates and this stuff works pretty good on that too. So just make sure you're hosing it off. So Super Clean just isn't some small little mom and pop shop, guys. They're in O'Reilly Auto Parts and a few other chain stores around. So they are growing. They're a quality product. And they've agreed to give out two free bottles of one, their original Super Clean, and also their original aerosol. Uh, right here, good stuff. How are you going to win? Okay, three simple rules. Be a subscriber, like this video, and comment on this video right down below, guys. And that's all you need to do. Now, in order to be the winner, once I select you, I'm gonna need to get a valid US mailing address from you. And you guys gotta let me know within at least a few days of the next video posting where I'll announce it, that you've acknowledged it. Otherwise, I'm gonna choose the next runner up and the third runner up. And I'm gonna go down the line until someone actually sends me an address or acknowledges that they won. Gotta give it out to somebody, guys. It's pretty, pretty simple. So how am I gonna choose the winner? Pretty simple, guys. Down in the comments section, we're gonna be randomly choosing the winners, and then we will announce it at our next cooking video. 
All right, guys, thanks for coming by here on this Wingnut Wednesday and watching the show and also participating in the giveaways. We're going to be doing this every week. And if you're a barbecue business that would like to donate, sponsor this spot, just get a hold of us at greenhornbarbecue at gmail.com and tell us what you're all about. We'd love to uh, give away some of your stuff here at this space. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And we'll see you this weekend for the next cooking video.